looking, what in the world is that? And I'm trying to look, and I get my binoculars, and I go, it looks like sage grass. looks like sharp tail. I, I'm looking, I go, could that be a hybrid? And by the time I figure that's what it was a hybrid, it flushed off to a different part of the leg. So I went back the next week, and uh, there was again hanging out with another sharp tail, and I got a little bit of footage of it, and uh, I sit and watch it, and it would, uh, it would try, it didn't, it knew what it wanted, but it didn't know how to do it, and uh, so it, it kind of did a stutter step, like a sharp tail, like the start of the dance, and then it'd like it race over to a little spot, and then it'd puff up like a, a sage grouse, and it'd kind of try to do the, the air sac, the Philly air sac, which it didn't, it had no air sac, it was just feathers, and so it was puffed out, it did a little wing flap, and then there'd do the stutter tip and race off to another spot. The wing feathers had the dots that were really similar to the, the sharp tail, and the shape of the tail looked um, was just the sharp tail shape, but it was like magnum size. And the feathers were probably eight inches tall, and so when it turned so it was facing you, you could see that profile of the tail. But when it turned the other way, it had the, the uh, white barring across the feathers like a, sa a male sage grouse. And then um, so we watched it for and it, when it it flew. You'd say, well, that's a, that's a sage grouse. But as soon as it landed, it looked more like a sharp tail. It was really, really bizarre, really odd. And I felt really privileged, you know, especially as a department employee. So sometimes that's one of the perks that we get to do. Not stuck in the office all the time. We get to go out and do some of these surveys. We get to see neat stuff like that. So I felt real privileged, and it was, it was very neat.